Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's the purchase and pricing question email line in the description for your questions about buying this or any watch you see here on Watchbox Reviews or my Instagram, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a legend in its own time. Launched in 2016, this is the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Cosmograph Daytona 116500LN. There are two different versions of this watch, one with a black dial, one with white. If you want maximum visual impact and contrast, the white lacquer dial is the way to go. It's not silver, it is true white. The timepiece, 40 millimeters in diameter with a scratch, almost scratch proof ceramic bezel. It's 12.2 millimeters thick, 46.5 millimeters lug to lug, and then end link to end link. It's actually 50.5 millimeters extremity to extremity across the wrist with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now the timepiece features a oyster bracelet, Rolex oyster bracelet. Let's take a look at the hardware. Solid end links, solid center links, milled out clasp, polished centers, polished outer faces. You can see satin finished shoulders and removable links fixed by screws. The clasp with a polished straight through, you'll note it is a double lock with a beak and a hook internally. There's that lift lock system that latches first and then there is the clamshell system that latches second. Note the use of little kerf and the Rolex logo to give you a place against which to dig your fingernail to open this clasp and you can see internally there's easy link which is a five millimeter system that allows you to add or remove five millimeters or about the same as adding or removing one sizable link. Uh, you might not be able to see them terribly easily, but there are three divots with little tracks leading into them inside the clasp, and you can use a strap tool to compress the spring bar and change the anchoring point of the bracelet and the clasp for more fine tuning. Very secure when closed. We'll throw this one on the wrist because frankly, this is a timepiece that wears more easily on a smaller wrist like mine than do the super case 40 millimeter Rolex sports watches. My wrist 16 centimeters in circumference wears it well. It's very low slung. Without a rotating bezel too, the 12.2 millimeter watch sits low. I would say it only sits about 11 millimeters above the wrist because the case back is somewhat cupped as you can see and it hunkers down nice and low fitting underneath any cuff. The watch is fairly narrow across the wrist, just 50.5. So I recommend it for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. No issues here, quite comfortable, but substantial. The watch features that ceramic or cerachrome ceramic bezel. As you can see, it provides a heat shield for the rest of the steel, as the ceramic is much harder, a little bit closer to the sapphire than it is to the steel, providing a block against scratching of the case. The case 904L steel, which Rolex boasts, is so anti-corrosive that it does not need to be washed when you withdraw it from seawater. As you can see, no super case here, the lugs aren't squared off, the case isn't sheer, there are handsome curves, compound curves, and complex curvatures. You can see that in the way light dances, flame-like across the case surface. The end links of the bracelet conform to the case, so it's a highly integrated look with no daylight showing between bracelet and case. Fun fact, what you see as the words, the indices, and the numerals are actually deposits of platinum inside the cerachrome to provide a sharper distinction as well as resistance to corrosion over time. Likewise, on the dial, the Rolex crown, the hands, and the indices are 18 karat white gold to prevent corrosion or oxidation over time. Maximum contrast, black registers on a gloss white base. We have that lovely red Daytona shock down at 6 o'clock that has been a signature since time immemorial. Okay, since the 60s. Underneath the dial, which is fully loomed, you have a Rolex manufacturer caliber 4130. The first thing to know about this movement is that it was the first Rolex movement to include a winding rotor bearing instead of a jeweled staff, which makes it much more shock tolerant. But still bi-directional winding with Teflon coated reversing wheels, it is a silent and smooth winder. Three days, 72 hour power reserve, 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate or eight beats per second. It uses a free sprung balance with a full bridge for shock resistance. It's adjusted in multiple positions, technically, it's a six position adjustment as Rolex goes beyond the COSC and with an overcoil hairspring, Breguet overcoil made by hand, the watch earns the COSC chronometer certification but then goes beyond as Rolex tests the fully cased up finished watch to minus two plus two seconds per day or better, hence the superlative chronometer nomenclature. That overcoil is made of a blue oxidized niobium zirconium parachrom blue alloy that is anti-magnetic, so it's a highly anti-magnetic, shock resistant, 100 meter water resistant watch. It features both a vertical clutch and a column wheel for its chronograph, so the action of the chronograph is crisp thanks to the column wheel, and the start and stop of the chronograph seconds hand is smooth thanks to the vertical clutch. Also thanks to the vertical clutch, you can leave the chronograph running full time if you prefer to have your seconds, minutes, and hours at center. Just ignore the rest. It won't cause any additional 
additional wear, tear, or hazard to the movement. 44 joules and a handsome movement. Again, it was the first Rolex movement that was really rethought from top to bottom with the winding rotor bearing and a handsome finish that actually looks good. You won't see it, but take my word for it. Rolex did think about how this caliber looks. Only your watchmaker will know, but you get the psychic satisfaction of knowing it's there. It does feature stop seconds. That's the last question I know you're going to ask. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for any additional purchase and pricing inquiries. And we're back with the Rolex Daytona. Rolex Chromalite Blue, their proprietary loom by night.